Hi, Polly here with Cut at Home. Today I wanted to try a different technique using stencils. Today I'm going to use a Heidi Swap stencil that I just got. I really like it. And the Tim Holtz Distress Marker Spritzer. This is a new tool that's out and it's available here at Cut at Home. And you can do a lot of fun new things with it. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a Mod Podge medium. I'm just using um, a decoupage medium. It's a satin and it's um, made by Delta. And I'm just going to take an ordinary makeup sponge, dip it into the medium, and I'm just going to dab it over my stencil. And I'm going to cover the whole stencil. And I'm just, you know, dabbing it on my stencil right on the paper. Trying not to get it on too thick. It's going to have to dry. And I'm going to cover the whole stencil this way. Now if you don't have a stencil, you can create a stencil. And if you have a silhouette, you can create it on the silhouette. I did that for a previous project. It worked really well. Just used a nice heavier cardstock and created a stencil. That went on kind of thick there. So I let the decoupage dry and you can see the pattern and there are some places where the pattern's more saturated and you really can't see it through, but I think it will give the final piece a really cool look. So now I'm going to take the tool and I have inserted the pen and I'm just going to spritz my color on there. I'm going to do this pretty quick because this one I'm going to blend and kind of wipe off. But then I want to go back in with the second color and give it some highlights and that speckled look. That kind of is covering my whole card. Taking a paper towel and I'm going to kind of blot that. And I'm just gonna kind of just gonna kind of work it into the paper and see what I have. Now I'm going to go back in with a different color and I notice the further down you place the marker into the holder the different type of a pattern you get. If it's down further you get a more speckled pattern. If it's up, if it's up closer to the tip it's a more smooth and I kind of want the speckled look, so that's what I'm going to do here. Just going to kind of speckle it on there. And 
And that I'm going to let dry the way that it is, and I might go in and just add some more speckled different places. So while I'm waiting for my background to finish drying, here's how it turned out. I added a little more brown, and I blended that in, and then I went back in and put more of the speckled pattern to it happy with the way that it looks now. I cut out a couple of feathers with Spellbinders feather dies and I'm going to spritz those with the Distress Spritzer. I think it may go back in and add a little bit of the green. But I may not. I don't. I'm trying to just get the edges a little darker. how that looks. I did go back in and cut another image. Um, this is also another die from Spellbinders that's available at Cut at Home along with uh, feather dies and it is the Inspire Collection and it is called the Bird Banner. I also spritzed that with the Distress marker spritzer and now I'm going to go in and ink the edges and I am using the Distress Ink Vintage Photo which is also one of the markers that I use and I'm just going to go in and do the edges I already did that on feathers I just really like how much it adds to the final piece it really makes the image pop. I'll show you once I get it inked. And this is going to be a sympathy card. I find sympathy cards one of the hardest types of cards to make. And I am using 
a stamp and die from Whimsy Stamps for the sentiment. And the sentiment is wishing you hope in the midst of sorrow, comfort in the midst of pain. And the stamp set comes where you can order a die set with it. And those are from Whimsy Stamps. So I've completed my card. I have it all put together. I really, really love how it turned out. Like I said, I've always struggled making sympathy cards. They're a hard card to make. Um, the only thing I have left to do is I'm going to go on my silhouette and create some text for the inside of the card. I hope you enjoyed this demonstration. Till next time. Thanks, and happy scrapping.